So everyone, Randy Dawn and Marathon Coach here, and today we're at Hearthside Grove in Lake Erie, and we have Eric. Eric, yes. what's the last name? France. France. Eric France. Eric France here, who is the one who had the vision for this place. So tell us a little bit about why here and the vision that you had for this place. Sure. You know, the, the region here along Lake Erie and uh, uh, in the middle of wine country, covered bridge country, on the lake shore, and it's a popular tourist attraction. It has been for generations. Yeah. And, uh, and a lot of campers, a lot of people who want to enjoy the lake shore, go to the marina, um, come here all the time. But the region has lacked a motor coach resort. Okay. And so for a number of years, uh, a couple of Friends and I, my wife, we bantered around a, an RV resort, something that would be the perfect fit for this area. Okay. And all along, we knew this piece of property was sitting here. It's been vacant for a dozen years. Okay. And we drive by it and we say, wow, is there only a good use for that? It's, it's an old golf course, right on the edge of the lake and right in the middle of a state park, surrounded by state park. Wonderful. And uh, we thought, uh, what the perfect place. So, you know, eventually those plans came together. And uh, not to mention the fact that we spent a lot of time sitting out by I-90 counting coaches going by. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of people yeah. traveling through the area that don't really have a great place to stay. Right, right. Well, that's wonderful. And one thing that I was excited about when, when we came today is, is you can access, get access to a lot of these, the restaurants and the marina by golf cart. You sure can. So that's kind of cool. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, yes. You know, you could bring your own or rent one of ours and you can travel, I don't know how many miles, you know, really from one end to the other, about three or four miles, but there's all the side roads and places to visit. You can go through the state park, to the beach, to the marina. You can go zip lining to several area hotels. Uh, there's uh, you know, bars and restaurants, a little bit of shopping some nightlife yeah it's, it's just a lot of fun yeah and that looks really exciting to me because we tonight we're gonna jump on our golf cart and we're gonna check some things out after we're done checking out the park so how many what's the final number of lots you'll have here and, and tell us a little bit about the amenities like looks like you you've done a great job of kind of setting the vision I see the signs of the clubhouse and you actually have I believe an outdoor workout area too we so do. tell us a little bit about the amenities and the future amenities of what you're sure, gonna have here sure okay so we'll be 150 spots when we're finished that's 150 lots on 85 acres. So our average lot size is about 9,000 square feet, some as much as 16,000 square feet. So they're really some of the largest in the country in terms of lots. Okay. We, we, had the, we had the land to work with. We felt that there was no reason to compress it, but to, to create a, a, a beautiful space around the wetlands, uh, all these inland lakes we've created, and also the, the natural beauty of the park around us. So we were trying to take advantage of that. So you'll see from an aerial map that it winds around through the wetland areas okay. and um, uh, uh, really, I think, utilizes the land very well. So the front part of the resort uh, is where our resort amenities are laid out. We'll have in that area uh, everything from, obviously, you mentioned clubhouse, uh, a sports bar concept is in the works, uh, obviously our administrative and sales design center, but also fitness and, you know, uh, shopping, rentals, you know, wine tours are huge in this area. We'll have a wine shuttle um, awesome. that uh, where guests can hop on a shuttle here and go to area wineries or take a tour to cover bridges or other things. So there's a lot of guest interaction in that sense that we think is, is going to be really enjoyable. And, um, and all of that is in the front part of the resort. Go through the gates then into the uh, residential, if you will, yep. parts of the resort where we can maintain that quiet peacefulness that the park really should be known for. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, we're really excited to show everybody the park and the vision that you have here. So we're going to we're gonna kind of go around and take some pictures and show some things. And uh, right. hopefully we, we get some visitors to come visit you. Uh, and thank, you so so. Much thank you so much for being accommodating and, yeah, and welcoming us here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. This is just a sample of one of the bungalows. A little fireplace and seating area. Water and then the beautiful woods in the backdrop. And you can see the covered patio area for entertaining. It's pretty nice. So this is the outdoor gym. Very useful. And what a pretty backdrop to work out in. Got some bike rental places that are strategically placed throughout the park that you can just rent the bike and um, there's plenty of places to, to bike around here. It's quite beautiful.
We'll just take a little stroll over this bridge and you can see the fire pits with the chairs. Now this is common area. No one owns this. You can come and use it whenever you'd like. And it's actually wood burning. So it's away from the sites, but not too far. And you can have an actual fire, like when you're camping. On the lots, you do have to use the gas fireplaces, but otherwise you are more than welcome to come and uh, build a fire of your own and bring, bring down a bottle of wine or a cold beer and, and just enjoy yourself here at the, at the water's edge. Hey, look, there's my Uber driver. Up on in. So here we are, we're on a Harside Grove golf cart. Now you're probably thinking, are we gonna make this? We're told I hope yes. so. Oh, 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 it's tight. Oh, little bump. <laughs> this is awesome. If you like the outdoors, this is the place for you to visit. So we literally just took the golf cart through the woods and into Geneva on the lake. You can drive your golf cart right into town. So this is a picture of the community park that will be here as they continue to build in the Harside Grove Lake Erie Resort. Their current office. And look for Eric in there. He's, he's um, in charge and he knows what's happening. And here they'll have rentals for any water sport that you'd like to do along with the golf cart and um, with all the wineries in the area they will have a shuttle that will take you to the wineries this is gonna be an amazing place and what a movie theater that'll be good for those rainy days but you still need to get out and get to see that movie they'll have a place for it now of course if you're looking to purchase a lot you're gonna have this welcome center with the real estate sales inside and a design center in case you'd like to build a bungalow they will help you design and decorate and get that built for you. So this is the beginnings of a beautiful park.